In this video, we're going to be creating a new Angular application using the Angular CLI, and it's going to be Angular 8. What we'll do is we'll make sure we have the right version of Node.js and Angular CLI installed. And then we'll go and we'll create a new project using the Angular CLI. And then we'll just test the project and make sure everything's running before we move on to the next thing. Down in the description, you'll find this link. And that is this page right here that I'm looking at. This is really good documentation on how to set up your, your working environment, like making sure you have Node.js installed, installing the Angular CLI, and then we'll be doing all that. Now, I ran into an issue a while back where I updated my Angular from five to six or something, I, I forget, but I, I was running the wrong version of Node.js. I didn't update that. And then I was running into all kinds of problems in, this, in the command line. So you definitely want to make sure you, you're running 10 or 0.9 or later if you're using Angular 8. And the test that if you go into your command line, you could just run node slash s version. And if you're getting back 10.9 or later, you're good. And if you're not getting anything back, you want, you want to install node. Like if, if it's saying something like node is not recognized or something like that, then you want to install node. And they actually have a link here you could just click on this and that will send you to the page where you can install the latest version. Now, if you do not have 10.9 or later, you what I personally do to update Node is I just reinstall it, the whole thing, and then just um, and then that updates automatically. Now, once you're past that point, you got Node all set up. Now we need to go and set up our our Angular CLI. And they show you right here how to install the Angular CLI. And this will give you ability to create the new project, also create components and all kinds of things. So you definitely want to uh, copy this and paste that inside of your, your, your command, line, command line. Now, I already have that installed. And the way to test that, you, you just go uh, ng version. And this should give you back all the different versions you're using. I'm currently using 8.2. So if you're seeing this, you're in good shape. Now, if it says something like it doesn't recognize NG, then you definitely want to paste in uh, this and install Angular CLI. Now that you're past this point, now we're ready to create our brand new Angular application. So I'm just gonna clear this all out. Let's go back to the documentation. And it says right here, NG new. And then you just name whatever the application is. I'm going to call it similar to what we've been calling it. I'm going to call it CI or uh, SPA. That's what I'll call it. SPA means single page application. And then we'll go and we'll serve it up. And then we should get this page right here. And that's pretty much it. Let's go and create our brand new application. So if we go here, I do not want to create it within the API. Let's go and navigate out of that. So we'll go change directory, move back one. Now we're inside of the root, and that's where the rest of our folders are. So we're inside this folder now. Now let's go and create it. So ng new. I'm going to call it ci. And then you have to use slash and not dot. Like dot, you get back an error. And then I'm going to name it spa, single page application. And then hit enter. Now this might take a minute. So you might want to get a cup of coffee or something. It takes a while. And uh, yes, let's go ahead and add routing. And I'm going to use SCSS. That would be, be good. Okay, so now that we have it installed, we should have a folder here at the root CI SPA. And this is uh, a Angular 8 application, and we'll be doing most of our work within this app folder right here. We'll be checking a lot of this out in the uh, following videos. But for now, let's go and make sure this is working properly and we can run it. So to do that, you just run ng serve and it shows you right here in the documentation. So ng serve, and then we should get, we should be able to run the application at localhost 4200. And I have this page ready to go. So let's go and run it. So if we go back to the command line and then clear this out, CLS, and then ng, well, actually you need to navigate into the folder Spa. Okay, so now that we're inside there, then we could go ng serve and serve it up. All right, now if we go to the browser and refresh it, and let's go and refresh it now. I'm at localhost 4200. Make sure this is working. 
Okay, and that is a good sign. So we we created our spa. Now in the next video, we're going to start adding things to it. We're going to create components and things like that and start building out our spa. And we'll do that in the next video.